Hi, my name is Nikki and I work at the Elaney Therapy and Support Centre here in Hereford and today I'm doing some reflexology for Beth and um, we're trying to demonstrate how a therapy like this would benefit anybody but also particularly people with cancer. Um, we offer free complementary therapies to anyone with cancer in Herefordshire regardless of how old they are or what type of cancer they have. And reflexology um, dates back several thousand years uh, to the time of the Egyptians and they found pictures of um, Egyptians having their feet done on tombs in Egypt and the uh, person receiving the treatment, Beth, was saying on the hieroglyphs, you won't hurt me will you? And the person receive, uh, giving the treatment said, no, I will transport you to a place that is greater than heaven. So uh, get ready for that, Beth. <laughs> so what we do with the feet is open up the zones. So the left foot deals with the left-hand side of the body and the right foot deals with the right-hand side of the body. And so through the feet, you can access all the different internal organs, you can access all of the limbs, um, all the features like eyes, ears, and so on. Uh, pretty much every single aspect of the human body can be accessed through the feet by stimulating the nerve endings, of which there are thousands, that come into the soles of the feet, which is why they're so sensitive. And those nerve endings have a corresponding other end somewhere in the body. So if you have a particular issue, such as a problem with your shoulder, your leg, maybe you're someone who suffers with headaches, um, if you're a cancer patient, you might be suffering with lethargy, fatigue, insomnia, um, needing to perhaps recover from surgery. And by working through the feet, um, you can still access the whole of the body, but not have to disturb the surgical site. Um, so I'm going to just try and find a place that I know is a problem for Beth at the moment and what I'm looking for is for her to say whether or not this place feels sore. So it'll either feel like I'm pressing on a bruise or it's going to feel a bit like a sharp pinprick feeling. So I'm just wondering whether you're feeling anything here Beth. There, there is a pressure there in that, yes. Is there a soreness there? There is. So, if I was to do this, yes. right, okay. <laughs> so, what I've found here is that this is Beth's shoulder, and um, I know that she's got a problem with this shoulder. So, what I'm doing now is holding this point so that it sends up a vibration through the nerve endings to release the toxicity in the area of that shoulder, and eventually she's going to tell me that that. Ooh, sensation has disappeared and all she can feel is pressure. Has it gone yet? It's really eased actually. Eased a lot, yes. okay. I'm just going to see if there's another one. Okay. Yes. Right there. there. So you're feeling that a bit like um, a bruisey feeling or a sharp? It's, yeah, it's yeah, more bruised. Okay. okay. So although it's a little bit of discomfort, it's not unbearable and it does then show where there is inflammation in the body. And what we're trying to do is ease any inflammation in the body. So it will show up um, if you have got particular issues. It, you, I don't have to know beforehand. The feet will show me everything. So it's like a map of the body, but through the foot. Um, if you have problems with your feet, you can do the same thing with the hands. So it's a way of working with the body, stimulating the body's own immune system, which is very important for cancer patients because a lot of their treatments um, subdue or um, interfere with their immune system. So this is a way of helping that immune system to be boosted back. So uh, it's an all-round therapy that works really well. And I know people have tickly feet, but this is a very different sensation to having your feet tickled. And I've yet to have anybody say they can't cope with it. So um, if you've never tried it, it would be a wonderful thing to try. 
and if you are someone who's got cancer it's definitely a way that we can support you during your cancer treatments often people come and have this for a boost before they have their um, next round of chemotherapy and uh, that can help them go through the whole chemotherapy journey so i found it to be really helpful for a lot of people working with things like migraines headaches uh, earache tinnitus insomnia um, helping people with fertility you can access all of the um, sort of womb and ovaries all the areas that you would need to stimulate to ensure that uh, those areas are working well and so we've had a, a few successes with helping people who are struggling to conceive to uh, be able to go ahead and have babies so that, that's been really good too so it's a, it's a good all-round therapy really for um, anybody and it's just a good one for just keeping you well and healthy in general you don't have to have something wrong you can just come and experience how this feels how are you doing there wonderful <laughs> apart from that the yeah, little that, bit of yes, soreness that, yes. yeah apart but uh, that, yes. you'll find that that will help your shoulder um, the only after effects really are some people can feel quite tired um, usually sleep well after you've had reflexology um, a good point is to make sure you drink plenty of water to just flush that toxic release through the body and usually within a day or two after the treatment uh, you will experience um, a surge of energy a general feeling of well-being and hopefully any aches and pains that were found during the session will have a sense of ease so uh, we'll see how your shoulder ends up <laughs>